What's up everybody? I know it's been a while since I've done a done a vlog on the channel. Honestly, like <laughs> training has just been very much the same. Like nothing not much has changed, but that is actually changing this week and the next coming up week. So as you guys know, or maybe don't know, um, my first triathlon is going to be happening July 11th in Waco, Texas. So it's going to be a sprint triathlon. So this week is actually going to be a deload week. So it's gonna be, the, the training is just gonna be, there's not gonna be as much volume because after this week, we're going to start ramping up training for the actual sprint distance. So we're going to be doing specific, you know, runs and bikes and swims that are specific to the sprint distance. So I'm assuming probably not as long of sessions. I don't know, I could be totally wrong, but I'm assuming that because you know, the distances that I'm going to be doing are not going to be that long in the race. But I'm actually down at a beach house this week with a couple of my friends, and which is actually really nice because the running is going to be great, and as you can probably see, we have the bike off the trainer. So I am actually here with my friend Eric, who is actually training for an Ironman, so he has his bike with his uh, aero bars on it. And if you guys don't know Eric, he is a uh, he's a YouTuber that makes videos where he eats massive amounts of food, but he's also an incredible endurance athlete. So he's very, very comfortable on the bike, so it'll be nice to do a couple rides with him. Um, I've ridden the bike outside many times before, uh, but starting for this prep, I haven't ridden it outside just because it's, it's much easier to ride the bike inside and do the workouts inside. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I don't want to get hit by a car. Uh, but I am excited to do a couple rides. We're gonna be going on a run this morning. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna be doing our first ride, but I figured I would take you guys along for the ride. And yeah, so thanks for watching the video. <laughs> So that run is done. Let me uh, show you guys what the uh, info was. So we went 6.36 miles. Um, average pace was 926. So and the average heart rate was 136. So it was really, honestly, like I said, everything's like super, super easy uh, this week. So it was a really, really nice run. Also, I wanted to show you guys the shoes I've been wearing recently. So these are the uh, Nike Invincible Zoom X, I think is what they're called. Um, I actually really like them. Like, as you guys can see, I've <laughs> I've worn them quite a bit. They, from what I've read there, it's a full, it's all Zoom X, um, that's all the foam that's used. And like it's, for, for how big and chunky the shoe looks, it actually feels pretty light. And like my favorite part about this shoe is how bouncy it is. Like this compared to um, the Nike, the Flyknit, what's the name of it? The, not the Invincible, it's the, the Infinity uh, React. Um, this compared to that one, this shoe is just so much more like bouncy and I guess like responsive would be the best um, best way to describe it um, so if you're someone that has like a, a little bit of a wide foot and you're a little bit heavier like I would actually recommend these they're they're really really nice so I'm actually really really happy with how those um, how they've been working like these are definitely my favorite like these are my favorite everyday kind of training run shoes and then the shoes that I wear still for my like tempo workouts or my like faster runs are still the Saucony endorphin speeds those are still my favorite because they're lightweight they have that um, nylon plate in there that just kind of helps push you a little bit faster um, but all in all like these are probably my favorite like day-to-day -day kind of shoes to wear right now um, but yeah with that being said I'm gonna shower because your boy is very sweaty uh, but yeah very very good run alrighty so I'm here with Eric what's up everybody you want to say hi to everybody look uh, what's up, everybody I uh, I'm just the dude that rides a bike a lot and runs a lot. You just did 15 miles? Yeah. You just ran 15 miles. Uh, but we're going to go on my first outdoor bike ride in like many, many, many months. You're going to do great. So I'm just going to follow him. We're going to start with the fundamentals and then uh, Work we're our way going to go from there. Yeah. All right. We'll see you out there. Oh, 
Okay, so it's been a <laughs> it's been a few weeks since the last clip in this video. Um, thanks to Eric for taking me out on the ride. It was actually really nice. I felt super comfortable the whole time, which was surprising because especially riding somewhere where I'm not like before when I used to ride outside because I used to ride the bike outside only before I had the trainer but I pretty much did the same route every time and I got really comfortable with that route so being in a completely different area and riding the bike and feeling comfortable a lot of that was because Eric was with me and I just basically followed him and I trusted that he knew where he was going and what he was doing uh, so that was really nice and it was really nice to be able to get outside but it's been a few weeks since that clip and I'm gonna try my best to explain what I don't want to say what I've been going through but the reason why maybe I haven't put out a video or I've, I've struggled with it recently in the past few I don't know, it's probably been like a month since I put out a video um, but I just want to make it clear that I don't even really fully understand it so I'm gonna do my best to try and explain it but this is coming from someone that doesn't really even fully understand it so obviously with this training and stuff like in, in the in the vlogging of it and filming of it I don't so I don't make any money off these videos. I don't, um, like, I, I do this because I enjoy it, right? And so if I stop kind of enjoying it, obviously I kind of stop making the videos. And it's weird because it's not like I stopped enjoying it, but I get so in my head of, like, not believing the nice comments so like a lot and it's really I appreciate it but a lot of the comments on the videos are always like man I, I, I'm so glad you're doing these videos and I don't know but like my head goes to oh they're just saying that to be nice they're, not, they're actually like annoyed <laughs> which doesn't make any sense because you are the people that click on the videos it's your choice to watch it there's no you know <laughs> no one's forcing you to watch them but I don't know like that's what goes through my head and then so that kind of creeped into my head and then I was just like ah oh, there's no reason for me to put out videos and then like I filmed that vlog uh, a few weeks you, the first part of this video you know riding the bike outside and going on the run and being down by the beach and and then I kind of didn't finish it and then I almost felt bad about not finishing it and then I just kept pushing it back and pushing it back and pushing it back and then I had this like guilt of like oh I haven't put out this video and I filmed all this stuff and I'm you know so that was kind of, you know, going on in my head. But then also what's been going on, I'm not trying to just complain, I'm just trying to explain <laughs> what's been going on. But um, recently, the training, I've been, I think I've just been struggling with being alone, um, for lack of a better term, because like when I, when I train, uh, when I ride the bike, when I run, when I swim, when I lift, I am alone, right? So, like, I'm usually in the garage or I'm outside running alone. And so, on top of that, my job, what I do, is alone, right? I work at the office alone. I edit my videos alone. I film them alone. Um, I stream alone. I'm doing this alone. <laughs> you know, so, like, I think that that has definitely been taking its toll on me. Because before all of this, I used to go to the CrossFit gym and I'd work out with people usually at least once a day so there was like one part of my day that was very social and I don't really have that anymore and I'm definitely am an introvert and I, I like being alone but it's like I need just a little bit of social interaction every once in a while so recently I actually went back to the uh, like commercial gym and worked out I didn't actually didn't even talk to anybody but it was really nice kind of being around people and I think that just me kind of training by myself I just again I got in my head like oh this is boring no one wants to see this so I wasn't filming anything um, yeah I don't know I'm I'm feeling better like today's session was really tough <laughs> it was like I had a brick session so I had like a hour and a half ride straight into a 20 minute run and then because m my own fault I slept in a little bit too much <sighs> I ended up like getting done with my run and I had like 30 minutes before I had to get to the pool because I had to swim today too. And so like, that was all, that was all my fault. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. Again, like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm complaining. Like, I'm, I'm really, it's weird because like, I really am enjoying the training. It's just, i there are some negatives to it that I'm noticing, right? Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm really excited. The, uh, the first triathlon, again, is going to be in Waco, Texas, July 11th. So that's coming up in like two months. So um, I'm really excited to finally, like we've been really kind of doing a lot more 
brick sessions and a lot more like like we did a triple brick session where it was like ride the bike and then run and then ride the bike and then run and then ride the bike and then run so it was a lot of like transitioning and like really fast transitions so um it's nice and like the swimming has been oh my gosh that's another thing like the swim has i've been getting so much better like i've been able to do some sets of 400 meters which is that's the distance that i'm gonna be doing in the race and I'm like excited because the race is going to be no wetsuit, so there's not going to be any extra buoyancy from that. And so I've been able to do some sets of 400 meters and like being able to just complete it for me is like really awesome. So um, yeah, everything's been going well. I, I don't want to say, oh, I'm going to vlog every week and because I don't want to put that on myself, but I, I do want to put out more vlogs. Um, I just, you know, maybe if you guys have recommendations or things you want to see, um, yeah, that would be really helpful. But again, I don't, I'm not trying to be a downer. I'm feeling great right now. I, I'm just trying to explain why I kind of went MIA for a little bit there. Um, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you shortly. <laughs>